guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be reading part 11 of our Ramadan series, Hajj, the fifth pillar. Hajj is the fifth pillar of Islam. Hajj is a pilgrimage. Pilgrimage means a journey to a holy place. People who go on a pilgrimage are pilgrims. To complete the Hajj, Muslims go to Mecca. Mecca is now a large city. Thousands of years ago, it was not even a village. There were no trees or gardens. It was a rocky place, and it was very difficult to find any water to drink. Nobody lived in Mecca at that time. During the Hajj, we remember Prophet Ibrahim wasallam, who lived thousands of years ago. A long time ago, Ibrahim wasallam, brought his wife, Hajr, and his baby son, Ismail wasallam, to Mecca. Baby Ismail wasallam, became very thirsty, and Hajr searched for water everywhere. She ran several times between two small hills, Safa and Marwa, looking for water. She and her baby became even more tired and thirsty. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave them a small spring of fresh water gushing out of the rock. This spring is called Zamzam. When Ismail alayhi wa sallam grew up, he and his father Ibrahim alayhi wa sallam rebuilt the Kaaba. It is a simple house. Every day we pray our salah facing the Kaaba. Hajj is held once every year. Muslims from all over the world come to Mecca for Hajj. They arrive by airplanes, ships, buses, and cars. During Hajj, all the men wear two pieces of white cloth called ihram. All men look alike in their simple, similar clothes. Women wear regular, simple clothes. When the pilgrims reach Mecca, they walk around the Kaaba seven times. This walking is called tawaf. To remember Mother Hajar, all the pilgrims walk seven times between Safa and Marwa. Then all the pilgrims go to a place called Mina. This place has thousands of tents. Next, the pilgrims go to a place called Arafat and spend time praying. They also spend a night under the sky. There are three large walls in Mina. People throw small stones at these walls. This stone throwing reminds them to chase Shaitan out of their lives. The pilgrims then sacrifice an animal. If we cannot go on the Hajj, we still sacrifice an animal on that day. The day people sacrifice an animal is the day of Eid al-Adha. All Muslims who are in good health and have enough money should go on the Hajj at least once in their lifetime. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe.